part 17. I think I can finish chapter 4 today and get into chapter 5. Uh, I've done a bit, a little bit of research, not gonna lie. And it should take less than 2 hours to get there. So I'm just gonna record until I finish chapter 4. And then that'll be all in this part. So this might be a very long video. Uh, I know I know that we have a boss battle coming up against the Dagon guy. Um, yeah, so this video might be an hour. Might be a little longer. But we're finishing chapter 4, so that's good. Oh. I don't know which one to do. <laughs> uh, we'll do one and two first, and then maybe number four. My lady, please tell me how to send the soul of Alina, a noon wraith, into the beyond. Alina's soul no longer understands who she is. Her memory has joined all the women who died in the sun drenched fields. How can I restore her identity? By no small miracle, Alina acquired a Nehalenia's mirror. With it, oracles and prophets could foretell the future. Alina consulted her mirror quite frequently. The mirror worked, partially. Alina thinks she's alive and plans to marry. Lost souls of the dead are more sensitive than the living. Poetry should halt her long enough to see her damned sister. Dandelion will be perfect for that. Good luck, Witcher. Okay, that's not what I was here for. Yes. Um. Milady, are these what you wanted? Indeed. Here, pour a drop of my blood onto the altar. Challenge Dagon to a duel. So be it. Okay, I think I'm back. Oh, he's sleeping. What nonce. Geralt? I need your help. Right. Shoot. I need a poem. A ballad. No problem. But to do it right, I need to know who it's for. Alina. Uh... Isn't her wedding the day after tomorrow? Not anymore. So, what should I write about? Death, Dandelion. Alina is dead, and her spirit roams the fields in daytime. Somehow we have to get her to understand that she's no longer among the living. Hmm, not your everyday commission, but I'm a professional. Any instructions? Don't provoke her, and no jokes. She's dangerous. I'll need time. You have until sunset. Meet in the fields before dusk. Right. Let's go and finish this. Let's do this. Iambic or dactylic? Or maybe something new. I'm feeling uninspired. What a nightmare. Just let's do this. Gerald? Alright. How's the poem? Could we do this tomorrow? Too late. You'll have to improvise. Master Dandelion! My lady, Geralt and I have devised a short poem for two voices. Care to listen? Uh, what? <laughs> his oh, lips dear. sealed, his eyes blank, his breast stone cold, his heart has ceased. Still in this world, yet no longer apart, who is this man? Uh, a corpse, the deceased, a moon, noon rate. We're going to go to the deceased. The deceased. New life comes as hope springs true. His soul shines by memory embraced. The dead returns to the land of his youth to seek his beloved's face. His breast heaves, yet cold it remains. His lips move, his eyes engrossed. Return to the world, but detained by death. Who is this man? A ghost? A ghost. Stop! Yes, I got it right. Stop! My soul shall know no peace until I am avenged. Oh, here's, uh, what's her face now, Selena? Alina, it's me, Selena. As you can see, you have been avenged. Selena, don't blame yourself. I know you never intended to kill me. I'm filled with regret. Tis justice. I am damned to wander the fields at night till the end of time. Perhaps. But if 
if we were able to lift one curse, I see no reason why we shouldn't. Will you help, Winter? I'll try. Why did I save Abigail? Were her honor or virtue threatened? No. Because the law was being broken? No. Did I choose the lesser evil? No. The Reverend and his flock made a choice. I'm a witcher. I neither judge nor punish. I solve human problems. Not always using a sword. That music is so good. I'd like to help. Dear noble heart, I am damned for the ages. If I find a way, I'll return. Nay, you hate me as all do. Woe is me. Oh. Help me. What the? What? This didn't happen. I looked it up to see like if I was doing it right beforehand. I don't remember this happening. That was interesting. Let's get out of here. What's up, Jules? How you doing, babe? Get up. Don't care about this. I did what I could for Alina. How did it happen? Alina's soul found peace. Selena. Well, there was no way I could help her. Thank you, Geralt. I'm devastated. I was a happy man just a few days ago. Now, I don't know. I may go back to Kovia. That's great. Okay. It's time to... Do this. Wasn't that her? Which is very good. Hello. Yes. I killed Dagon. 
In gratitude, I will part the curtain of mists, allowing you to recall something of your past abilities. Thank you, milady. Use my gift wisely. Milady, it seems I am needed in murky waters. Destiny has brought you here. We must speak. Naturally. I am a goddess. You are the sword of destiny. Death has followed you for years. Perhaps. Accept this gift from the Lady of the Lake. It will help you fulfill your destiny. What gift is that? And now we get a nice fancy silver sword. Which is going to be very cool. It looks good from what I saw, but... Near here it is. You traveled a long path fraught with danger. You demonstrated courage and goodness. By divine power, I hereby knight you. Face your enemies without fear. Safeguard the helpless. Never lie, even if it means your death. That is your oath. Arise, a knight. Destiny will give you no rest. A long road lies ahead. I see death and blood. I see frosty chaos. Take this sword as a sign of my favor. Once the blade of a great warrior, it lay in the depths for ages, awaiting your arrival. Milady. Shh, Richard. It matters not if you believe in destiny. With the blade I present you, you will complete your mission. Thank you, Milady. Go, White Wolf, and do what must be done. May you fulfill your destiny. And the other silver sword we had is just burnt now. So, let's go. Oh, there's someone there. It's Berengar. Fucking witch is fate. <laughs> I betrayed Kier Morin's location to the Salamandra leader. Then I helped them with their research. I was hunting the beast in the outskirts of Vizima when they captured me. I escaped and ran into Kalkstein, accepting his offer to open the tower in the swamp. That's when they nabbed me again. They weren't as nice the second time around. Finding Alvin, bringing him to them, was the only way I could save my skin. Why are you telling me this? I wanted to tell you to your face. See that famous icy glare of yours. I mean, that's... That's great and all. Um, yeah. I don't intend to judge you. Does that mean you understand? You don't condemn me? Uh, yeah, I'm not arse fine. I can't condone your choices, but I guess I understand. Meaning? Do what you think is right. I'm not your nanny. Take this. We'll meet again, White Wolf. Okay. Berengar's letter. And Book of the Full Moon. Berengar went his own way. I doubt we'll meet again. That's sad. Uh, that's every all my notes. Now, let's see. We're about a mission away from getting to where we need to be. White Rayla. Geralt of Rivia. I've oft heard of your death. Forgive me, but I don't think I've ever heard of yours. White Rayla. What brings you here, Witcher? Slaying monsters. Nothing unusual. Have you seen a unit of elves in the area? No. No units. Watch what you say. You're hardly untouchable. If I discover you working with the Scoyotel... Threatening me? No. Merely helping you to avoid a serious error whose consequences might prove too dire for you to handle. You watch your step, too. I'm not some emaciated elf. I can defend myself. I don't doubt it. Know that Vizima is burning. Non-humans have turned it into a war zone. Those poor starving elves are murdering humans by the dozen. My orders are to halt the unit to Ruvialep Shahil commands, and I won't have you getting in my way. They're cowering in the village and have taken hostages. We'll attack soon. I'll talk to the elves. Maybe they'll listen to reason. Siegfried vouched for you, so I'll give you a chance. 
Your intervention at the bank prevented the Scoyatel from gaining gold to buy arms and provisions. Though weak, I doubt they'll heed you. But you never know. Promise them a fair trial if they lay down their arms. I'll try to persuade them. Wait until I return. You have my word. Okay, that's great. Fill my heart. As White Rayla's adjutant, I would like a word with you, Witcher. I spoke to Rayla. Heard enough for today. Rayla is an excellent officer and truly detests non-humans. Perfect to lead this mission. But let me guess. Though she's a mercenary, she has her honor and keeps her word. Yet she's prepared to avert a massacre of civilians, even if that means the elves will escape. We foiled the robbery at Vivaldi's bank, and the Scoyatel are weakened. We can afford the best mercenaries, yet we cannot trust Rayla as we trust you. Looking to recruit me? Am I to stand with Rayla and kill the elves before they murder the hostages? Give me one good reason why I shouldn't just walk. I'll put it in your terms. Monsters infest the village, hunt its inhabitants. They are destitute and hungry and all the more dangerous for that. Stand with Rayla, Witcher, with the order against these monsters. Why would I do that? For some of Vivaldi's gold? Yes. No, to support a just cause and prevent a massacre like that in the outskirts. And to save your friends from ravenous beasts. Okay, that's great. Geralt? His eyes. Dandelion. Teruviel's elves have taken hostages in the village. What do we do? I spoke with Rayla. She's leading the Knights of the Order. Geralt. Alvin's one of the hostages. I know. I'll try negotiating with them. All right. I'll keep a lookout behind the village mayor's house. When you're ready, come tell me what to do. I need to talk to White Rayla and Teruviel. Somehow I doubt this will be easy. You'll manage. See you. Alrighty then, let's get out of here. Um. Hmm. Yes. You all right? No, I feel strange. I can hear what they're thinking. It's terrible, Geralt. Do you have the necklace? Yes, I wear it all the time. Can't see it. I don't want to hear them. Geralt, why are the elves doing this? Oh, okay. Number one. They're fighting for the freedom, for an ideal. Humans have them up against a wall and they see no other way. Uh, two. The elves refuse to concede that the world has changed. They cannot win, but they still fight. It's their sad, desperate attempt at halting evolution. Or three. They've lost their lofty, beautiful veneer. One can clearly see the deep hatred they hold for you. Uh, let's go one. It's most neutral. They're fighting for their freedom, for an ideal. Humans have them up against the wall and they see no other way. I'll remember that, Geralt. Something bad is about to happen. I can feel it. I've got to talk to Taruviel. Stay here. Where is Taruviel? Oh, hello. Geralt, why have you come? I've come to prevent a massacre. There will be no massacre if they let us depart. You could have left the children alone. In faith, I could not. White Rayla stands on that shore. Several peasant corpses made no impression on her. The children halted her advance. Uh, we'll do a fair trial. White Rayla wants you to lay down your arms. She guarantees you a fair trial. You take me for a fool, Witcher. White Rayla exacts only one punishment, death. The unit from the Zima spoke of you. Why should I trust you? Release the peasants, then you can kill each other as you please. I shall release no one. Try any of your tricks and these Dwan will die. And tell that singer to cease lurking behind the house before someone puts an arrow in his ass. This is bad. That's not hiding. Jesus. Geralt? Idiot. Dandelion, things have gone from bad to worse. Definitely. Scoyatel on one side, the Order on the other, and us in the middle with Alvin. One should never negotiate with terrorists. Negotiation leads to concessions. Concessions are a victory for terror. Folks become fearful, uncertain. I chose the lesser evil. The bank's new owners were grateful for the Order's intervention. They agreed to support the crusade against non-humans. Need to wait long to see the results.
That was nice. So, in other words, I'll just try to annihilate Geralt, what now? a Leaving's minority. Not an option. You'd make enemies of both the Order and the non-humans. I'm not worried about that. I'd rather save Alvin, but if I go, there could be a massacre, and I have friends to think about. Witcher, this feels like a pivotal moment. What you do will have consequences. So do we grab Alvin and leave them to it? Yeah. Exactly. What should I do? Find the Fisher King and tell him to be ready. We're going back to Visima. All right. See you at the lakeside. I want to get Alvin out of here. I can't allow him to be harmed in any way. The little one has come to love you as a son loves a father. We do not kill children. Take him with you. That was easy. And now they're all fucked. Look at Alvin shitting himself. He's like, oh no, help. He's such a little bitch. Alvin, no. Why are they all... What? They're all my enemies. They're all my enemies. What the fuck? That's not what I wanted. Uh, I'm reloading. Uh... Why are they all my enemies? Alright, look, at least you have allies now. Oh shit, he's actually murdering them all. Witcher. What happened? Fucking fanatics, not an ounce of professionalism. They stripped me of my command. When I refused to attack, my adjutant pulled out a letter from Siegfried. Had it all along. Well. How did it go? I helped the knights, Rayla. The elves are dead. Teruvio escaped, and the villagers are in shock. You'd best leave. I don't intend to stay. Teruvio hasn't seen the last of me. Farewell. Um, Berengar, I have his confession. It contains some clues that could be important. Clues? We haven't finished with Salamandra. Azar Javed, the mage who attacked Kaer Morin, is somewhere in Vizima. He feared neither sorcerer nor the hosts of the damned. You're raving, Dandelion. And walked bravely on. His destiny to meet. Let's go. Let's talk to him again. Geralt? This is bad. Really bad. What happened? Alvin opened a portal and disappeared. He could be anywhere. We need to get back to Vizima. Triss might have some ideas. Vizima it is then. After you. And there we go. And the priest is still there on the altar. No, it's a dog. Never mind. <laughs> Shit. Where do you think you're going, mister? <laughs> oh, what the fuck was that? <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. And there's the order. Dandelion's just 
bopping some tunes. Nice red sky. We arrive in Vizima soon. Mm. Smell that? Yeah. Smoke. Something's burning. Heavy and stifling. Like thatched roof huts. Damn it, Geralt, look! Oh, yeah. Now it gets fun. God damn it, Geralt. Can't believe what I'm seeing. You should be used to the sight of fighting by now, Dandelion. We should never grow accustomed to violence and horror, especially the sensitive among us. Luckily, we mutants have no feelings. Is that what you mean? Nose to the ground, forging on. You're like a bloodhound on a fresh trail. Old Vizima awaits. Probably the sight of the heaviest fighting, then there's the plague. We need to get inside. Finally, I'll find out who's behind Salamandra. Geralt? You sure you want to come? I'd never desert you. I want to help. But matters may get intense. I hope you don't think I'm scared. Not at all. And the amount of people here. I knew you'd be back sooner That's or later. Carmen. You missed a lot. Greetings, Vincent. Why are you here? I'm responsible for King Radovid's safety while he's in Temeria. We'd be deep in it if anything would have happened to him. Has Foltest returned? Yes. He's an old Vizima. Knowing whose orders we're following really boosted morale. I need to get into old Vizima. I stand a chance of getting in alone, but not with... Do you follow? What's going on? <laughs> I have a job Foxy. for you, Dandelion, regarding King Radovid. The Witcher's flapping tongue would be a liability. Why do I think you're up to something? It's true. I'm not suited to converse with kings. Done. Dandelion, wait for me at the king's camp. Geralt, do what you must. Excellent. Here's Shultan. What are you doing here? Stretching my legs. Oh, What's he's got the plague. You all right, Zoltan? Haven't started taking fist tech, have you? Nah, I'm just allergic to bastards. <laughs> Spare me. What's going on? What's going on? Kids are orphaned one day and kill the next. Your precious order is slaughtering women, children, civilians, everyone. The elven civilians have returned a few blows. Virtually all non-humans have taken up arms. Turns out they trapped healthy non-humans with sick humans in all Vizima to finish us with a plague. Have proof? Yes. <laughs> Allergies still bothering me. Here's what Shani said. Zoltan, how can a witcher be so stupid? Those murdering knights could have spared the civilians. Yada, yada, yada. Go away, you're aggravating my allergy. Well, this is going to be fun. Carmen. Thank you, Geralt. Thanks again. How are the girls? They still speak of you. Shani and I have become friends. Good. I hope she's well. She treats the sick and wounded no matter their race. Not all look kindly on that. I see. Unfortunately, I haven't seen her since it all began. I'll try to find her. Farewell. Right avoid the steer. Greetings, Geralt. Your Highness. Congratulations on the Professor. Pompous twit tried to blackmail me once. Thanks for the good news. My pleasure. What brings you here? I want to finish off Salamandra. Good. Finish the bastards. What's the situation in Vizima? Total chaos. But thanks to my agents, Foltest returned and is trying to restore order. I see. I'd like to be on my way, sire. 
Farewell. Fucked. Probably should have saved it. Why did I not do that? Chapter five, guys, we made it. Gracious sire, this is madness. You should not expose yourself to such danger. Wait here and allow me to summon a stronger force. Nonsense, Velorad. This is my city, the capital of my kingdom. Damn it, I rule this land, and I refuse to creep around its corners. Gracious sire! Silence! You know you might as well wipe your ass with those intelligence reports. I want to see it with my own eyes. Well, it looks like you're about to. Non-humans attacking! Uh, protect the king! You're doing a really bad job. You return, sire. I trust you are not too late. Your kingdom is in need. You should know kings are never late, Jacques. Sire, flames engulf half the city, and the blood of your subjects fills the gutters. This is no time for word games. You must act. What do you propose? Allow me to command your army and the freedom to do as I see fit. Never. Over my dead body. It was close this time. Next time, I might arrive too late to help. I've seen enough. Bellarad, back to the castle. What is he doing here? He dropped in. He seems to have a talent for that. What shall I do with him? He'll come with us. I have a matter to discuss with him. Chapter 5 is looking good. Although, the war. Still. Final chapter. That's what I'm happy about. Witcher of Rivia. Sire, I am honored. As I'm sure you surmised, I have not summoned you here out of whim. A serious matter weighs upon us. A curse binds my daughter. I want you to remove it. I have gathered all who might offer aid. Duet has been the princess's adjutant for the past half year. Velorad has known Adder since her childhood. And Triss Merigold is here for her extensive knowledge of magic and female intuition. Mm -hmm. Consult them and think upon this matter. We shall speak about it again soon. As you wish, your highness. In the meantime, equally urgent issues demand our attention. I'm listening, sire. Witcher, imagine returning home from an excursion against a monster, a Kikimor, for instance, only to discover your home a whorehouse. Your Highness. I'm not finished. Those you left in charge failed you. A traitor threatens to oust you from the home of your ancestors. Wouldn't you be angered? Would you not elect to shed more blood? Absolutely, sire. The non-humans must pay. With your backing, the order... Unfortunately, the knights have forgotten their place. They've developed a taste for power and want more. That is not something I can allow. You stood by while the Order's power increased. Perhaps you should negotiate with the Grand Master. And perhaps I should behead the Grand Master and his underlings. That would solve the problem. Sadly, it's not that simple. I'm certain you're right, sire. I must attend to some urgent matters. Speak with these excellent minds. Gain their insight. And don't forget my daughter, Witcher. I'm counting on you. I won't forget. My servant will summon you when I have more time. I'm surrounded by embassies. So, I'm going to do this part and then I'm going to finish up. But my consequent, the consequences of my actions throughout this game have meant that literally, Fatima's is fucked. <laughs> the city's absolutely gone. <laughs> See, you just fucked Triss out of the way. 
<laughs> oh my god, I fucked up. <laughs> so bad. Right, I'll talk to Babe first. How are you doing, darling? Gerald, I was worried about you. I worried too. I'm proud of you. Heard how you fought for Alvin. Horrible things are happening in Vizima. True, but the king has placed me under his, um, protection. Tell me, where's Alvin? Uh, Alvin vanished into thin air one day, despite the amulet I gave him. Vanished? That's awful. He might be anywhere in time and space. I had hoped the amulet would block those abilities. I hope he'll be all right. Triss, I've been thinking about us. Oh, Geralt. Um... So either it's lover or else I should tell her to go fuck herself. But um, from what I'm aware, she's like the main, the girl's main, like partner throughout the games. Cause he's got quite a few. But yeah, we'll we'll say one. Yeah, we love her. Why not? I love you. I want to be with you no matter what. Love is the sole thing of beauty in these rotten times. Geralt. I could change, take fewer risks. We'd find Alvin, live together. I'd build a house. A house? Nice dream. You could breed horses and sheep. I'd tend the garden, cook meals. We'd sell what we grew to buy copper pots, iron rakes. We'd age with dignity. Evenings you'd play bagpipes of your own making as a remedy for my gloom. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to... Geralt, say something. I can't lose you. I'm here. These are trying times. We just need to survive. We can dream again when the madness passes. Triss, I... I love you too, Geralt. To the end of time. Bitch, answer. Witcher? Count. No titles, please. Let us bury past misunderstandings in the name of a greater cause. So be it. Geralt? Um, sorry, I'm reading these. Should we read them out? So, either lift the curse on Ada, uh, does this bitch fear the king's anger, or fuck off. Uh, we'll go with one, because, obviously, you know, that's the whole point of chapter five. I already, I, I know roughly how this game ends. I don't know the exact ending, but I know that Ada the is part of it. The king wants me to lift the curse that holds Ada. Not surprising. You succeeded once, though it nearly cost you your life. The Striga's appearance possibly spells the end for Foltest. Many say he offended the gods. Remember how she first became a Striga? Um. Do you want to remind? Or do you want to say I'm interested in the present? Remind me. Remind me. As a youth, Foltest had quite an appetite. So much so that he ploughed his own sister. Their child died at birth, but then continued to grow in its coffin, only coming out to feed. Then you arrived and broke the spell, though apparently not completely. The Striga's reappearance proves the royal dynasty is cursed. The people are sensitive to such signs. No wonder Foltest wants you to kill the Striga. I thought I was supposed to lift the curse. You are to keep the Striga from becoming an eyesore. The chance of removing the curse is minimal. I've heard a rumor of an additional reward for killing the Striga. Would the rumor mention how much? Five thousand orans. Nice number. Any idea who's spreading this rumor? No. However, there are other things to consider. If you do solve the Striga problem, the king might take his savior's advice. Have anything specific in mind? A fresh yet unsigned decree on the king's desk disbands the order. If you ask the king to reconsider, well, your friend Siegfried would be grateful. Ada was born of an incestuous union between the king and his sister. Uh, you know, that's just standard, I suppose. You know. Um, let's talk to this little shit. Greetings, Geralt. Greetings, Velarad. I saw you uh, speaking with the king. I gather it was unpleasant. It could be worse. Geralt. Okay, so the king told me about Ada. Aren't you a bit afraid of the king? Fuck off. Okay, right, we'll do it number one. The king told me about Ada. Dreadful. You warned us it might return. Uh, can you break the spell a second time? 
Uh, I, I, I don't know. I really don't know. We'll go with number one, but I'm not too sure. We'll see. You seem to remember last time well. Certainly. You stayed from dusk till dawn in the old manor house where the Strigger had her sarcophagus. Kept half the city awake with the noise you made. We uh, went to the manor at dawn and saw the two of you lying on the floor by the sarcophagus in a pool of blood. You were barely breathing, but the princess was cured. With the traitor Ostrid dead, the king was overjoyed. Uh, just so you know, that's the... Uh, when you play this game, there's an intro that plays of Geralt fighting the Striga. Every time you start up the game, uh, you can skip it, of course. But that's what this is referring to. Hmm. Many victims this time round? I don't know. These days, the corpse is like thicker than flies on a pile of manure. Know where the Striga sleeps in daytime? No, but she's been seen in old Vizima. Uh, she may hunt there. Removing the princess's curse will be risky. True. But the king has ways of encouraging you to do it. We'll see. Do what you will. But remember, Foltest loves his daughter very much. I know. Geralt. All right. Farewell. So, Striga sleeps daytime, but apparently she's been seen in old Fasima. Damned recruits. All right, well, ask this fucker one more thing. Aren't you a bit afraid, Velarad? The king looked irate. At me? I'd watch what I say if I were you. Hmm. I've served Temeria all my life. If they condemn me, I'll hold my head high as I walk to the gallows. Farewell. Okay, I think that's every option that I have. Don't you fear the king's anger, Duet? Wherever did you get that idea, Witcher? Foltest looked pretty pissed. He said something about bloodshed. Obviously, he spoke of the blood of traitors and non-humans. He might finally dispose of that failure, Velerad. Farewell. Well, now what? Get what do you think about the situation with Ada? She's a Striga, Geralt. We both know that curses don't cast themselves. Any theories? Years ago, when you first removed the curse, you ordered the princess to wear a necklace with an inclusion. Juniper, broom, and hazel branches were to be burned in her chambers. Don't tell me. Someone replaced the necklace and added crap to the fire. Yes. Someone close to her who knew the secret. Velarad might know something. So you think I should aid the king? Definitely. In a sense, I'm a political prisoner. I could teleport away, but that would be highly inappropriate, and I still have a few matters to settle here. What might those be? I wouldn't dream of boring you with them. I know you're busy slaying non-humans. It's not like that. Oh, excuse me. Quelling a rebellion. Is that what they call it? Eliminating terrorists? I see no difference. I've got to go. Well, pissed her off. So I was supposed to someone helped. Oh, never mind. Our merciful master will see you now, sir. Go upstairs to his chambers. I'll go immediately. Excellent. So as soon as we get this part done, then I'm finished. Witcher. Your Highness. No need for titles. Speak freely. You've had time to think. What's the prognosis on removing the curse from my daughter? It's possible. Could the curse have returned by itself? Unlikely. Someone must have cast it again. Should you succeed, would... Would Ada's mind be that of a child? I don't believe so. She'd likely recall all that occurred before her transformation. You don't believe so. You're not making this any easier, Geralt. Do what you can to remove the curse. Failing that, you may slay her without fear of retribution from me. When I last gave you my trust, you did not disappoint me. Thank you, sire. Don't thank me yet. Should you learn who cast the curse, tell me and only me. If you succeed, I'll grant your every wish, within reason, of course. If you must slay her, do it quickly, cleanly. If you fail, and my daughter suffers, those dear to you will suffer too. I understand, sire.
understood. Sire, another disease consumes your kingdom. What would that be, Witcher? I have been investigating an organization known as Salamandra. My daughter dealt with them, stupid girl. I regret I ever departed. To your credit, Venerad said you thinned their ranks considerably. I trust you shall finish the matter. Exactly my aim. One last matter, Witcher. Forgive me, but I had you followed. I received a report about your personal life. Your Highness. You must know that I hardly did this out of lewd curiosity. My spies report that you are romancing Merigold. I need to know if there is anything more to it. Um, well, since we're going down the Bruce of Love for Trist, and number two it is. We're lovers. Nothing more, nothing less. Ha! I knew it from the start. My spies have much to learn. I suspected it was only sex. Enjoy, Geralt. If you desire to go to Vizima, talk to my Chamberlain. I shall be away from the castle for some time. See Velorad about any other needs. So I shall. Farewell, sire. Let's dismantle the Salamandra at the behest of the king himself. We can do that. Let's see. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, he's Chamberlain. That's what we're doing. Yes? I'd like to return to Vizima. Are you ready, sir? No. Yeah, I am. obviously. Dipshit. I should move on and search for clues as to the Shriga's whereabouts. Well, that's where I'm going to leave it for now. Um, maybe tomorrow I'll do something, but for now that's it, really. Under two hours it took. An hour and 45 minutes. So hopefully I'll edit this down to maybe about an hour, maybe even 50 minutes would be nice. Right, that's it. Uh, this has not been a disaster. Uh, so yeah, so maybe two or three more episodes and we're finished, hopefully.